Hi, hello guys, welcome to Medicine Simplified. Today we will know about Lithophidae disease, which is commonly seen in infants. So, what is Lithophidae disease? It is a rare and benign mucosal condition characterized by tongue ulcers, frequently brought on by traumatizing injuries sustained from repeatedly moving the tongue back and forth over the mandibular anterior incisors. In infants, this disease is also called as traumatic lingual ulceration, eosinophilic granuloma and traumatic eosinophilic ulceration of tongue. Coming to the signs and symptoms, typical manifestations as tongue localized ulcer. Though it can also affect the lip, palate, gingiva, vestibular mucosa and floor of mouth. RFD can be a asymptomatic or occasionally be accompanied by pain. Both male and female are equally affected. Coming to the causes, RFD is most commonly associated with eruption of primary lower incisors in older infants or neonatal within newborns. Coming to the diagnosis, biopsy should be considered for lesion that persists for two weeks after removing a suspected cause. Which is tooth. A biopsy may be required to exclude other conditions affecting the tongue, including first one infections like ulcerative candidiasis, bacterial infections, fungal infections, tuberculosis ulcers, primary syphilis. Second one is malignancies like lymphoma and sarcoma. A granulocytosis, a blood condition in which there are no white blood cells, which leads to ulcer formation. Coming to the treatment, smoothing the rough edges of teeth and using topical cortisones application to the uterus. Extraction of teeth is rarely indicated. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.